Say, we got some great shots, too. No, oh, boy, did we? I was the cameraman. You were? Sure. Oh, you have wonderful. There's your contract, Mr. Smith. And if anything goes wrong, we'll hold Betty Lou responsible. You know, it was she who sold me the idea. And I still think it's a great plan. You can depend on the boys, Mr. Curtis. And I know they'll enjoy making the survey for you. I wish you were coming along, Mr. Smith. I know you'd enjoy our little island. Oh, I'm sure I would. Betty Lou! Well! Gee, but I'm sure glad to see you. You look tired and worried. What's the grief? Oh, Milt and his mechanic have been hermitizing themselves up in the mountains working on some fool invention of mill, but they won't even talk about it. Gee, I hope it proves to be a great success. It'll revolutionize aviation. Fine. Oh, Mill, I want you to meet a very dear friend of mine, Miss Cass Meadow. And as this is Milt Howe. How do you do? How do you do? You've met my uncle. Yes, how do you do, Mr. Curtis? How are you, Milt? Oh, Paul, I want to telephone the boys. Where can I reach them? At Littleville. Thanks. Tommy, answer the phone. Sure. Excuse me. Martha? Hello? Hello? That you, Tommy? This is Betty Lou. Hello, Betty Lou. Gosh, it's good to hear your voice. When did you get back? Just got in. And listen, I persuaded Uncle Ned to take you and Skeeter with us on the dirigible. A dirigible? Gosh, that sounds great. But where are we going and why? Hi, Betty Lou. It's Skeeter. Tommy, Uncle Ned has hired you and Skeeter to make an aerial survey of his oil property down in Nazil. Gee, that's great, but where in the world is Nazil? Nazil is a tropical island out in the ocean. What ocean? Pacific. Nazil? That sounds like a sneeze. Listen, Tommy, Uncle Ned says you'll have to step on it because this dirge will just don't wait for people. Okay, Betty, we're on our way. Hello? I mean, goodbye. We'll be right over. Come on, Pete, we're going places. Say, Mom, put some of that chicken in a box, will you? We're off to Nazil. Nazil? Where's Nazil? Oh, out in the Pacific Ocean someplace. Oh. Come on, Skeets, hurry up, will you? We only got an hour. Tommy, can't you and Skeets stay and fix your dinner? Oh, gosh, Mom, I'm sorry to run off, but we gotta go. I never saw so much commotion in all my life. Bye, Mom. Take good care of yourself. Goodbye, son. Have a nice trip. And don't you get your feet wet in that ocean. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, Skeeter. Turn it over. Well, goodbye, Miss Thompson. Goodbye, Thanks Skeeter. for that chicken dinner as well. Take good care of my boy. Oh, don't you worry. I will. survey from the air and blaze a pipeline, I'll add a substantial bonus to the contract. Thank you, Mr. Curtis. That's very kind of you. I'll see if there's any news from the boys. Say, when Tommy and Skeeter start to do anything, they do it. They'll have that pipeline clear up to the oil wells in a few weeks. What'd I tell you? Come on, Skeet, let's go. Well, wait a minute. There's another one around here, I think. Well, we haven't got time to look for it. The dirigible leaves at 4 o'clock and we're late now. Come on! Stand by. Up, ship. your film when there's a lot of moving pictures on it too yes and you cost me a contract too i suppose you know that i don't see why curtis insisted on you two or nobody do you mean to say that betty lou i mean mr curtis didn't wait why certainly not the dirigible took off on time at four o'clock hey tommy 
Won't that, won't that balloon take on passengers up in the air? Sure it will. Get that attachment we use in those moving picture stunts. No, wait a minute. You can't do that. Why, it takes an expert in his line. It takes a specially trained man to hook onto a dirigible in midair. That contract meant a lot to me. It should to you, too. But I can't let you take a chance like that. Getting aboard that dirigible means more to me than even that contract. Oh, I see. Well, I'd forgotten for a moment that Betty Lou was aboard. All set, Tommy. Great. Turn her over, Keith. Good luck here, Tommy. Thanks. I'll need it. I'll say you will. Contact. Contact. I sure wish I were going with them. Yeah, me too. Well, they certainly have plenty of nerve, all right. I hope they can overtake that dirigible. I don't see why we couldn't have waited for the boys on the net. This world in time waits for no one, especially our little party. The delay might cost me a fortune. I'm sorry not to have met those nice boys. Yes, I uh, was. Uh, those aviators of yours are on the radio. They want to hook onto my ship. That'd be fine if they can do it. Sorry, Mr. Curtis, I can't take that chance. Hey, Peter! Don't be loud now! Go ahead! Plane approaching from Stain, sir. They say they won't let us hook on. Can you beat that? Ah. Hey, Tommy. I got an idea. I think the captain's no meaning refusing to let them aboard. He's captain. His word is law. Oh, I know, but Betty. Look. idiots to keep away from this ship. I've already told them, sir. Mysterious Eagle plane, sir. What would you do about it? If I were you, sir, I'd let them hook on. Get it. 
I'll try again. Three point calling dirigible 76. Three point calling dirigible 76. Oh, Betty, I don't like this storm. It looks bad. This sausage will hold together. Dirigible 76. Three point calling dirigible 76. Go ahead. Hey, Tommy! 
Three-point coin, dirigible 76. Three-point coin, dirigible 76. Go ahead. No use. I can't get that operator. Any news on the storm? Well, still raging up and down the coast and well out to sea. I'm afraid it's no use. I did have a little hope when the storm cleared up here, but I guess... It's... Tommy Tompkins, calling three points. Tommy Tompkins, calling three points. Go ahead, Tommy. Dirigible 76, Rex. Location, latitude 32 north. Longitude 120 west. I am cut loose from Dirigible. Am flying for help. Notify nearest Coast Guard to pick up survivors. Hurry! Get the Coast Guard at Point Flavin. Calling Point Flavin. Calling Point Flavin. cutter on the way to the wreck. Great. That amphibian I'll get to the wreck before the cutter. You'd better get going. Okay, and thanks a million for that old houseboat. By the way, Paul Smith at Three Point will send her back and pick up my ship. Good luck to you. I hope you get through. make it all right to Nazil this time, Mr. Curtis. You haven't the dirigible, but you have two good planes. Yes, we're well equipped. And by the way, I left a cablegram on your desk addressed to Senior Casmetto. You know my partner, Nazil? Telling him we're on our way. Fine, I'll take care of it. Hey, come on, let's get going. 
Betty Lou, you better keep your ship close to mine. Yeah, you mean you'd better keep your crate close to mine. Goodbye, Mr. Curtis. Hope you have a nice trip. Thank you. Happy landing, folks. Thank you. Take good care of yourself. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, I got her all set for you, Tommy. Ah, uh, thanks, Joe. You know. Hey, where's Skeeter? I don't know. For the love of Mike, what do you got in the box? Pineapples. Pineapples? Those things grow wild in Brazil. <laughs> Not this guy. Developed the plantation I have leased to you. Thank you, sir. I have worked very fast, hoping to prove myself worthy of your daughter's hand. By the way, Senor Cosmeto, how's your oil enterprise progressing? I am sorry, Senor, but I am forced to keep my activities confidential because of my stepbrother Manuel's ambition to possess everything that belongs to me. It is with you, Senor Cosmeto. I see Vena. And my partner, Mr. Curtis, is on his way back by plane with two young aviators to make an aerial survey of our oil fields. And uh, is Senorita Inez coming with them? I see. I expect my daughter. Also, Senorita Betty Lou Barnes. A thousand pardons, Senor. I didn't know it was so late. I must return at once to my hacienda. Adios, amigo. I hope you visit us all. I mean to. Hey, Tommy! When do we get to Nazil? Don't worry. I'll let you know when we arrive. Uh... All right, Betty? Not a bit, Uncle Ned. Spend a lot of money, Senor Raymond. <laughs> you said it, Manuel. I've got plenty to spend. What else did you find out? start going places. Come in. Rondo, two planes are headed here from America. You know what course they'll take? Yes, sir. They are not to reach Brazil. You are to intercept them over Madrigas Island and force them down. But the young ladies. My instructions are for Curtis and the pilots of the ships only. The ladies are not to be molested. I understand. Do you 
Better turn back. What for? They might be lost in that fog. Oh, don't worry. They'll come out of it, all right. Hey, Skeeter! Wake up! We're way off our course. Oh, guys. I sure am. You go ahead and sleep. I'll take the controls. It's just me. looking thing.
Zeit braucht Zeno. So myself. I'd give my right arm to know who that eagle is. He's proven to be our protector, whoever he is. Let's see what happened to Betty. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come Come on. A complete burnout. Boy, you'll never know who that guy was. Come on. Boy, that crate go up in smoke. That's the insignia used by the Allies during the World War. All but the panther. Well, it looks like a cat. Oh, that isn't a cat, it's a panther. Ah, uh, still looks like a cat to me. Here, let a firm with Hey, wait a minute. This may help us to find out who our enemy was. Well, you can keep it if you want, but bad luck to me. Oh, Tommy, I thought you were gone that time. That certainly was a close call, boys. Oh, it sure was. 
say, Betty, what happened to your plane? A broken start. Gosh, you were lucky to make a landing. Oh, Mr. Curtis, do you know anything about this insignia? No. Strange looking thing, isn't it? Why, well, I've seen that before on one of my uncle's planes. It must have been Frondo. Frondo? Say, was he the guy? Chris. Savages. Savages. Come on, let's get out of here. You got any tape? Yes. Yeah, this looks like this. There she is, Betty. Good as new. You better get her in the air quick. What about you boys? Oh, uh, don't worry about us. We'll be right on your tail. Give us the gun. Curtis, I am so glad to hear your voice. I have been waiting for you. What has happened? We had a skirmish with one of Manuel's flyers. Yes, yes, go on. He tried to force us down on Mandricus Island, but the two aviators I hired intercepted him. He must have been that aviator Frondo. What happened to him? He crashed. from his headquarters that Curtis, heavy aid, has brought Frondo down in flames. I told you that would happen. I have to stake my life on Frondo stopping them. But never mind. I'll bring him down with the anti-aircraft. Get your men on the gun and bring him down. Yes, sir. But don't destroy the plane. We can use that. Yes, sir. What did he say, Tommy? I don't know. Well, maybe he's inviting us to lunch or something. Federico Chinda Terrizar. 
Pronto. Pronto. I told you that cat was bad luck. Send us a retard. Send us a retard. Send us a Pronto. Pronto. Get out of your prison, senor. Say, hey, what's the big idea of shooting that down? I'm not so noisy. So you conspire with my stepbrother to cheat me out of my heritage. No, we never conspired. What? We, we was hired. Yeah, hired to blaze a trail from the air for a pipeline. Same as Paul Smith at Three Point. Hired us to make moving pictures of the Navy maneuvers for a newsreel. So you are in my stepbrother's employ? Yes, sir. And there's our contract. We have a dungeon where you'll have plenty of time to study your contract and think it over. Artego, si, take them to the dungeon. Si, senor. March! Look at the skeleton, Tommy. That must be the last pilot they stuck in here. I'll relax, Skeeter. Where have you been, McGuire? Down to the landing to get a shipment of hot dogs. A couple of prisoners in the dungeon. See that bad? I'll do that right now, and I'll be through with them for the day. They're parking our plane over by that tree. That means they must have put gas in it. Carrying this food, and I'll tell you all about it. How come you're a cook, man? Did you give up the newspaper racket? Not so loud, somebody will hear you. Now listen. I'm just posing as a chef for a man named Raymore, who's a wealthy oil promoter. Say, we met that guy. He looks like a crook to me. Of course he is. But I'm getting the best story that was ever written for the old Tribune. Say, well, maybe you can tell us why we're prisoners here. Yeah, doesn't this island belong to Alvarado Casmetto? Of course it does. But ever since Casmetto let that crooked stepbrother of his live on this end of the island, Manuel has done nothing but try to scheme to get possession of the whole island. I'm so happy you are safely back in Salgunda. Oh, Father, what a trip we had. <laughs> oh, in fact, Oh, you are more beautiful than ever. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Curtis, how are you? Glad to be back again, thank you, Alvarado. For a while, it looked as though we might not make it. Oh, and those two young aviators you spoke about. Oh, where are they? They should be here any moment. Oh, well, now you come right into the house. I have a great big dinner waiting for you. Mac, do you think that you could get us out of this place? Sure, I can. Here, here. Here's the key that I got from the body of a dead guard. Now, they'll all be asleep in a few minutes. This time of the day, it's too hot for them to stay awake. Well, Mac, this guard, he'll be asleep too? Oh, of course he will. He'll be sound asleep five minutes after he lets me out of the door. Great work, Mac. Well, goodbye and good luck. I'll see you at three points. Right, Mac. Thanks, Thanks a lot. I'm so worried about the boys. I'm afraid something must have happened to them.
just fed your prisoners, sir, and I want to tell you there are a couple of tough birds. All right, mix me a cold drink. That's just what I was going to do. I'll tell you all about it when we get cleaned up. Boys, I want you to meet my business partner, Mr. Casmetto. Mr. Casmetto is Mr. Tompkins and Mr. Milligan. You do. How do you do? Better known as Tommy and Skeeter. All right, boys, you come right along with me and I'll show you to your quarters. And officer, XX radioed yet? No, not a word. Probably falling out on the job like the rest of your flunkies. So you see, Manuel already has possession of the north end of the oil fields. Has he developed it? No. Spends his time and money building fortifications. Well, how big are these fortifications? You know, well, what are they? Well, that's what we want you two boys to find out. They can do it, Uncle Ed. Photograph them from the air. Sure. Pardon. If Senor Garcia's arrived, sir. Oh, bring the Senor right in. Greetings, friends. I hope I do not disturb. Oh, not at all. I want you to meet my good friends, Tommy Tompkins. How do you do? And Skeeter Milligan. How are you, sir? How are you? Uh, you will pardon us if we continue with our business. Oh, oh certainly. Then. Tomorrow morning, you boys will fly over the north end of the field, make a complete survey of it, and photograph all of Manuel's fortification. Hurry up, Skeeter! Where have you been? Uh, had to be sure my camera equipment was in good shape. Good luck, Tommy, and be careful. All right, Betty. Skeeter. I'm greatly worried until you return. Yeah? Well, don't you worry about me. that Curtis aviators have left the hacienda. Radio Gomez at the oil fields to stop them. He knows what to do. Yes, you know. Get your camera working, Skeet. That's the oil field, all right. Okay, Chief. Boy, I sure got a swell picture of that camouflage hangar back there. Ready? Fire! Those guys couldn't hit a balloon. 
how he disappeared. That boy Tompkins thinks nothing of our fortifications. Alvarado's men never before have courage to come here. The important thing now is they photographed our positions and got clean away. And they can't keep those fool boys down even when they're shot down. That'll do, McGuire. I just wanted to say... Yes, said you. enough. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You heard, Garcia. Yes? You are to visit your friend, Don Alvarado, and find out just what pictures they got. Yes, and what use they propose to make of them. I go at once. That's right. That must be Tommy and Skeeter. Hope they were successful in getting pictures of your stepbrother's position, you guys met That's not the boys. It's that new plane. Senor, senorita find it. Must be something wrong. My daughter, what has happened? Tommy, where's your plane in the pictures? Well, Manuel's men shot us down. That devil stepbrother of mine. Oh, we got the pictures all right. Good. Oh, gracias, amigo. Spine work. If it hadn't been for the girls and that mysterious eagle plane, they'd have got us. Say, hey, well, what ship is that, Mr. Curtis? Now, that's the second of the shipment from Paul Smith, all serviced and ready. Boy, that's a swell crate. I'll take her up for a test right now. Fine. In the meantime, we'll develop this film. Come on, girls. Take me with you, will you, Tommy? Oh, no, not on a test flight. Oh, gee, Tommy's right. You don't want to take that chance. Hey, Tommy. That looks just like the hole I stowed away in when you and me first came to Three Point. Remember? Guys, it sure does, Skeet. It worked all right that time, but don't you try it on this trip. <laughs> How is she, all right? Si, senor. Okay, turn her over.
was afraid you were going to crash. So was I. What in the world happened? Looks like somebody deliberately jimmied my left flying wire. Who serviced this job? I serviced the motor. Tommaso serviced the plane. Tommaso, where is he? I don't know. He's gone. I think I'll have a little talk with Mr. Casmetto about this. All right. Fix it up. Yes, senor. I get this film threaded on here, you're going to see some of the best moving pictures you ever saw in your life. <laughs> Greetings, my good friends. Welcome, Garcia. You are just in time. Buenas tardes, señoritas y caballeros. We are showing pictures of manual sports and gun placements. Will you join us? I'll be delighted. Won't you sit down? Thank you. Whenever you're ready, Skeeter. Let her go. All right now, Tommy. Douse the light. Hey, Skeeter, there's that gun crew that shot us down. Ah, it sure is. Say, did we give them a surprise? Hold it, old timer. That's what I want to see. Well, that's that hangar we saw hidden in among the trees. Tommy, I want you to investigate that place first thing in the morning. I'll go with them, Uncle Ned. Nothing of the sort, my dear. That's work for men. But Tommy and Skeeter are just boys. Skeeter? We gotta go over every inch of that plane so she'll be all right in the morning. <laughs> You're telling me. What did you find out? The pictures, did you see them? Yes. The film shows the secret hangar where you have the bomber hidden. They are curious about it and are coming to investigate today. They will find the secret passage that leads here. <laughs> take it easy, take it easy. All right, tell us about it. Hey, Joe, morning. Have the ship. The ship is all service. Good work. Come on, Steve, top the board. Hurry up now. They can't be watching you two eat all day. This hot dog, they are very, very good. Sure they're good, but they know how to cook them. What you do, senor? Seems no way of stopping those boys. So I'm going to get that plane out and drop a bomb on the hangar. That's good. That will destroy all evidence of the secret passage. Hello? You understand? Si, si, senor. I'll do it right away. Vamos, tenemos que emprender vuelo inmediatamente. Echar tres o cuatro bombas en este sitio y destruirlo por completo. Tres o cuatro bombas en este sitio? En este sitio. Is there something wrong? I am to take up the airplane and drop the bomb on this place. Drop a bomb on this place? On this place. Well, this place is no place for me. squad of men through the tunnel afterwards to remove all traces of the explosion. Suppose they make a mistake and throw a bomb on this place. Go and do as I told you.
That was a swell land. Not a sound. I bet you nobody even knows we're here. Is that me? Betty! Oh, my gosh! Why did you do a dangerous thing like this? Because I want to help you. Hey, where is this place? About 200 yards beyond those trees. The only way you can help us is to stay here. And if you hear any shooting, start the motor. All right. I knew you'd need me. Come on, Skeeter. Betty Lou, are 
all right? What happened? They bombed the hangar. Oh, say, we, we better get out of here. How? Come on, let's find out. Manuel's men. Quick, Betty, run for the plane. Halt! Oh. Oh. Senor Maguire? Me? Oh, I'm just making some notes in my travels. Maybe someday I might want to write a book. Maybe someday the General Manuel wants to see what you write. He hired you to cook. Manuel can see what I write any time he wants, but nosy little sentries can't. Is that so? Yes, that's so. <laughs> You got those rapscallions again? Si, senor. Yeah, they got our ship, Big Paluca, but they didn't get Miss Betty Lou Barnes. She got away at the other end. Ah, uh, vamos. Well, I shall go at once to Cosmedo's Hacienda. Si, senor Garcia. Learn what my stepbrother and his partner, Curtis, plan to do and bring me word. Hey, what do you suppose they're going to do to us now? Congratulations, gentlemen. Artigo has captured Cosmedos to flyers. Great work. This time they shall not escape so easily. You don't suppose that that guy's a mysterious eagle flyer? Oh, what would he be doing here? So, you are caught again doing devil's work for that stepbrother of mine. Throw them in the death chamber. Just a minute. Am I not in command here? Of the men, yes. But I'm in command of the money. Am I right? See, si, that is true, Senor Ramo. What became of the young lady that was with him? She escaped, senor. Yes, just as I was about to grab her, El Condor came out of the sky and started bombing me. Ah! Don't shoot, mister. I'm afraid whichever side you're on. All right, McGuire. Who, who, who the devil are you? I'll tell you that when you tell me what happened to those two young aviators. Sure I will. Sure I will. All right, come on. Yes, sir. The girl ran off. And El Condor flew away. El Gomez will take the air at once in his combat plane, find this mysterious flyer, and bring him down. And the senorita, she too have helped my stepbrother. Tell Gomez to find her. Si, senor. Now then, you two, what's your price? For price for what? What are you driving at? Money, of course. That's what you're down here for, isn't it? Right. I'm offering you twice what Curtis paying you, and you'll be on the winning side. Well, does your side always win? You know, we thought that we won a couple of times. Skeets. 
We control some of the richest oil fields in this island. With you two on our side, we can take the rest. And drive that devil stepbrother of mine out of Nazil. That sounds pretty good. May we have a day or two to think it over? Until tomorrow morning, yes. Meantime, you can go any place you want inside this town. Oh, say that's fun. But that's... you'll be constantly attended by these guards. Any attempt to escape will be just too bad. Ah, uh, I knew there'd be a catch in it. All right, march. Boy, we're certainly in a tough spot. I hope Betty Lou found the ship all right and got away. Yeah, with these three shadows behind us, we'll never have a chance to find out. Use your own judgment. I understand. Perfect. Um, doctor. I'll look for it here. I wonder who that fellow is. Yeah. 
Well, uh, have, have you any ideas? Bring us some lemonade and a deck of cards. Si, senor. A deck of cards? Well, what for? You're gonna teach these guys some card tricks. Very much distressed, senor. The boys, Tommy and Skeeter, they have not returned. And Betty Lou, she went with them. Mr. Curtis, her uncle, he's away in the oil fields. I am very much worried by responsibility for her. Well, I do not understand, senor. Father, look. Maybe that's the boy. Betty Lou, what happened? Tommy and Skeeter must have been taken prisoners by Manuel. I waited and waited and they never did show up. We will teach Manuel a lesson. We will send an attacking force. We'd better do something. I know a place where an aeroplane could be set down secretly within a mile of Manuel's stronghold. If I have a pilot. Hop in, I'll be your pilot. Oh no, Betty. No, there is danger. When do we start? Oh, no, no, senorita. We cannot land in the dark. We will fly at dawn tomorrow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you a very simple little trick. Now, just to demonstrate that the hand is quicker than the eye. Now, watch. Watch very, very closely. Don't take your eyes off the cards. There. So we have a ten of hearts. Now, I put the ten of hearts back on the rest of the cards like this. Now, if you don't watch very close, you won't see the trick. Keep your eyes on it. Now, I ruffle the cards a couple of times. Then I pass over the cards like this. Now, watch. Gilly. Gilly. Gilly! <laughs> Get Stop that man! Stop him! So you try escape, eh? We fix you this time. Well, have you reached a decision? Well, we'd like a little more time. Another day to think things over. Meanwhile, because you try to escape, you shall go to my deepest dungeon. Oh, oh, no, really. The you reach a decision, the better. Take them to the lower dungeon. The apprentice, march in. I can depend on you to wait here for me, Senorita Farns. Of course, but please hurry. Gonna put us in there? Maybe they think we're a couple of tough guys. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna touch it.
clear up skeets. We're not dead yet. It's the worst of it. Looks like they're going to bury us alive. Gentlemen, I have brought Senorita Betty Lou. She waits for me in her plane at the edge of the woods. Send men to bring her here. Great work, Garcia. With the three of them, we can now dictate our own terms to Curtis and my stepbrother, Alvarado. Hey, Skeeter, there's a light coming from someplace. I can see it, Tom. It's news. Grab hold. Here, 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 come on. 
Hold hands on death. Bobby, Peter, here, here. Come on, that's the boy. Come on. I know it's dark. He didn't want to take your bath, but you don't have to use all the water in the mill. Now, come on, hurry up. Hurry up. Let's get out of here before the fireworks start. What right have you got to hold me prisoner? You'll find out. If I ever get away from here, you'll find out. There's the bomber I was telling you about. Boy, see what I like to get my hands on that. Me too, before they get a chance to use it on us. Pipe down, you two, before the guards get wise to us. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Hey, wait a minute. There's Ben. Looks like they got our prisoner. Quiet now, quiet here. Take this gun. Sneak up on the guards and get the drop on them. Now quiet like little mice. Hey, Skeets. I tell you what we'll do. We'll sneak around and back them. You go that way and I'll go this way. And we'll meet right behind the plane. Hey, you, you better take a look at that gun and make sure it's loaded. Those guys got bayonets. What? You heard me, bayonets. Uh, everything now works out very good. The prisoners have escaped, senor. Crumb. Quick, quick, sound the alarm. Have escaped. All right, Betty, get in there and turn on that switch. Get over there, buddy. You're set, Steve. I'll pass. I'm back.
I wish I knew that trick. I wish I knew the guy that did it. Oh, I forgot about Garcia. He wanted to find you. I wonder what happened to him. Well, maybe he was taken prisoner. We haven't gas enough to go back for him. Oh, I have to come out the end of Examinen este aeroplano detenidamente. Creo que hay algo en el motor. Puede hacerme falta muy pronto. Sí, Vamos. señor. Well, what are you going to say for yourself? Well, I did my best. But they got away. <laughs> That's nothing new. They always do. Outsmart us every time. I could have brought them down. But that devil, Il Condor, came to their aid. He's a fiend, this Al Condor. He's also a good shot. Say, is this uh, very serious? No. It's just a scratch. But at the hospital, he was recognized as they have it attended to. There's no need, no time for that. I must leave at once for the Cosmeto Hacienda. What is so important there? You should know. Tonight is the annual fiesta of Nasir. Yeah, you must go at once. Your absence will be noticed. You must keep us posted of every move. We've got to outsmart those young happy. Right. Daniel, I can't waste my time here any longer. Unless you consent to one thing. And that is what? I brought that bomber here for one purpose only. Wipe Cosmeto and his outfit off the island. You mean to bomb the Cosmeto Hacienda? Yeah, tonight. During the fiesta. But Senor Garcia will be there. Regardless of him, we've got to get possession of the island. And whether you consent or not, I'm ordering Gomez to prepare the bomber for a night flight. Boy, listen to that music. And look at those dancers. And those hot cha senoritas. Hey, if the folks in Littleville could only see me now. <laughs> you like our beautiful country, eh, Skeeter? Who said anything about your country? <laughs> <laughs> it's thrilling. Bill is full of thrills. Well, we've certainly had our share of them today, eh, Betty? I'll say we have. I'm just dying to know about it. Tell me. It's a long story, in it. Usted es un hombre muy simpático. Yo quiero bailar con usted. Huh? Usted es un hombre muy simpático. Yo quiero bailar con usted. Oh, so your old man. I know. What's she saying to me? The young lady says you're very beautiful and she wants to dance with you. With me? <laughs> oh, but I can see. No, no, I can't. No, no, tell her I can't. Somebody, please tell her I can't. Everybody seems happy, Senor Cartier. Yes. I wonder you have the heart to enter into such festivities when you were really in the midst of serious warfare. If it was not for this annual fiesta, my people would die. They look for it, live for it. It inspired their patriotism. That sounds like good psychology. <laughs> I've been thinking about Garcia, and I'm going back up. At a boy, Gilfin. And while we're there wrestling, we might take a crack at that bomber. Say, wasn't she a beauty? Oh, she sure was. But it would be such a risk. It's a risk we've got to take. Gosh, with that bomber in their possession, they could fly over here anytime tonight and destroy every one of us. Come on, Skeet, let's get going. I'm going with you. You, you are, are not. not. I am, too. If you succeed in stealing that bomber, who's going to fly your plane home? Gosh, Skeet, I never thought of that. Hey, he's right. Come on, then. Let's change our togs and get out of here. Shall I tell my father and Mr. Curtis? No, they'd probably try to stop us. Come on. Gomez, when you finish here, I want everyone who's going on the raid to report to the office for final instructions. You understand? Si, sí, senor. Oh, 
hope that moon goes down soon. I hope it stays up till we make a landing. What's that doing with that aerial plane? Ah, uh, anyway, anyway! Well, that's what I was thinking, kid. Oh, Captain Kid. We better set the alarm before we leave. Hey, what's that little gadget you're tinkering with? Time bomb. A time bomb? You mean to say you're gonna blow up this beautiful job? Oh, it's a trap. If anybody tries to steal the ship, it will be blown to pieces in 15 minutes after they start that motor. That's nice. Is it going up tonight? Haven't you heard about the raid? What raid? Haven't you heard? We bombed the Cosmeto Hacienda tonight. Well, is that so? I think I'll jump in old Liz and go out and see the fireworks myself. It will be worth your while. You're telling me? We've got to beat that bomber to Cas Meadows and warn them. And I don't know how it can be done. Ah, get going, get going! You said it, Captain Kidd. There about two o'clock. The fiesta will be still underway. That looks like the boys now. Now you stay here, kid. Did you? Did you? Captain Kid. Landing tailspin, and in the dark, too. That's the advantage of blind flying. It was blind, all right. Betty, that has all the earmarks of a wise crack. <laughs> That's it. We gotta get our bearings. That must be Manuel's headquarters over there. Well, we can soon find out. Listen, Betty, when we take off in that bomber, you follow us. Suppose you don't get it. And if you hear any gunplay, you get out of here quick anyhow, see? Oh, don't worry about me, boys. I'll do my part. Anna, girl. Come on, Steve. Sam. Hey, Skeets. There she is. I hope it's got gas in it. Say, there's a full of guard. Oh, well, that, that's a cinch. You know, we'll work the old gag on him. Sure. Now, when we walk out there, you want to be sort of nonchalant like you know. What? Well, I'll skip it. Come on. You are to keep high in the air. The hacienda will be brilliantly lighted. That's all. Very well, sir. Who are you? Friend of Raymore's. Friend of Raymore's, huh? Mm hmm? And who are you? Oh, you uh, I'm a friend of Mr. Raymore's, too. You see, we thought that you might be a little lonely and that this would give you a little company. <laughs> Good work, Steve. Come on. About you. Now, where are the boys now? They went over to Manuel's headquarters to get the bomber. The bomber? Yes. There they go now. Oh, we've got to stop them. We've got to stop them. Why? Never mind. Get the plane going. I'll tell you about it later. Hurry up. Get in there. Thank you. 
Somebody steal my bomber. They won't get far. I set the time bomb. But they will destroy my ship. Yes, and those two flyers. There's the time bomb in that plane. We gotta get the boys out of it. Hey, Skate. Let's all break your handles, guys. Here comes Betty.
Senor Garcia, I was afraid you would not be able to come. Won't you sit down and join us? Thank you. It is only by chance I am here. Senor Tommy and Skitter and Senorita Betty Lou escaped from Manuel's camp in the plane. But I found it very difficult for me to get away. You were fortunate to get away at all. By the way, I have seen this El Condor, your new flyer. Who is he? My flyer. My dear senor, he is a mystery to me. Well, he is to all of us. You've seen him? What does he look like? Well, I do not know. I have seen him only in the air. Would you dance, senorita? With pleasure, senor. Caballeros? Where is senor Tommy and Skitter? They went to rescue you from Manuel. But I am here. Well, if they do not find you, they will bring back that farmer of Manuel. Oh, they are very dirty. And tell me, Inez, who is this El Condor? That is a big secret. You mean you will not tell me? Yes, I will not tell you. But why? Because I do not know. Shall we dance? Let's <laughs> see. It's a big plane. I saw it blow up. You're telling us? Yes, it blew up with these Tommy and Skeeter aboard. Yeah, that bomber cost a lot of money. It was worth it, getting rid of those two young hornets. Yeah, well, what do you, what, what do you want me to do? Get out of here! That's just what I was going to do. Look good to me. Say, when are the guy refreshments left? Listen, Skate, no more suggestions about stealing bombers. Well, regardless of what happened, Betty, we saved the lives of all these people. Yes, sir, Tommy, you're right. You see, Betty? I was right. 
Anyway, I think we'd better sneak into the house and change our clothes before Uncle Ned gets lost. That's a good idea. Let's go. Two boys came to steal the bomber. Did they get it? Yes. And it got them. What do you mean? The story is short and sweet. They and the bomber were blown to bits. <laughs> well, I congratulate you, gentlemen. Did you learn anything from Cosmetto that we don't already know? Yes. Curtis hopes to bring in a big well tomorrow. The biggest one yet. Mm, a big one, eh? He gets the oil that should be mine. Yours? Ours, you mean? Am I not footing the bills? And tomorrow I shall teach Curtis and Cosmetto Edison they'll not soon forget. We'll have to cap that new well if it comes in tomorrow, for we have no more storage space for oil. Well, I hope that Skeeter and I can blaze the trail for that pipeline tomorrow. All the hand grenades and bombs are the oil field arsenal. It will be necessary for you to load there. I'd like to see that new well. May I go too? Positively not. You'll stay here where you'll be safe for a change. How do you like that, Betty? Oh, no. Oh, now, listen. listen. There, there's no need to argue over Now, look, look. You want to dance, and I can't dance. So please let me alone. No, no, I'm, I'm tired. I'm sleeping. No, I'm going to bed. Oh, why don't you dance with me? No. I want to dance with you. I want to dance with you. You don't want me, I want you. Why don't you Now, don't forget what your uncle said before he left for the oil field, Betty. You stay here. And don't forget what your pa said. You got to stay here, too. Oh, all right, Grandpa. You're a couple of old minis, that's what you are. Well, if you get in trouble, don't blame us. Well, that's just it. We anticipate trouble. Contact? Contacto. <laughs> A downright foolishness leaving us here. What do you say if we follow them? New well is something to see. Is she all gassed up? It's the tank that's filling. It's a going there. Well, we better wait till Tommy and Skeeter get out of sight. Understand, Mandro. I don't want Curtis to get any oil out of that field. Use your own judgment. I understand. Perfectly. Contacto. Contacto. Down now. 
Boy, they got some way out here, eh, Skeet? Ah, say. Where's Mr. Burke's quarter? Right over there. Thanks. Over there, huh? Right. How are you, boys? How are you? Oh. I'm Burke's report. Credit's just radio. Uh -huh. Glad to meet you, Mr. Burke. Me too. Say, that's Betty's plane. What are you doing here? Hey, don't you know this is men's work? Where's the sign? Well, what sign, Betty? Men at work. Oh. <laughs> oh, Betty, I want you to meet our foreman, Mr. Burke. This is Miss Fine. How do you do? How are you, Miss Fine? You don't mind if we watch you bring in that new well, do you? Why, well, certainly not. Come along, folks. You girls shouldn't have come here. Certainly not. It is a great mistake. Well, we'll be all right. Nothing's going to happen. Is everything all ready for the boys to blaze that trail? Yes, sir. Where are the hand grenades and bombs? In the arsenal over there. Thanks. We'll load them into the plane. Come on, Steve. How's the new well? Down to oil set. Ready to shoot this afternoon. And let us look it over. Certainly. Come on, folks. Gosh, Skeets, there's enough powder and dynamite in here to blow up the whole oil field. Uh -huh. Ah, but let's, let's get these hand grenades and get going. Okay. Here, you hold that. All right, you put them in carefully. I will. You must have worked the men day and night to get this far. I sure have. There's always trouble around here. I'm anxious to bring this well in. Not one of our planes, is it, Uncle Ned? Doesn't look like it. it must be one of my new ones. I, I wonder who's flying that crate. I don't know. Must be another one of those thieves who manual set.
chance going after that bomber. I hope nothing happened to him. Nothing would happen to him if I was up there with him. money. Betty's plane. 
You know, we got to start blazing the trail for that pipeline. Yes, sir, boy. You're absolutely right. Say, you're foolish to go up now. Why don't you let that old pipeline wait? Betty's right, Tommy. You need a rest. There they go again, Skeets. <laughs> now, look. Here we are at the oil field. Ready to shoot the well in half an hour. What do you think, Cas Metal? We cannot dispose of the oil until the pipeline is run to the sea. Can you shoot the well and cap it if it comes in? Sure. All right, and notify us when you are ready. All right. Manuel, that Tommy is lucky. He's not lucky. Just intelligent. Send the land force to attack them at once. And I will bomb them from the air. Good. I will send the man right away. Romain. Get the cars and arm the men. We attack the cars by the oil fields at once. Senor. Hurry up, Maguire. Yes. Oh, what, what's coming off, boss? Is something wrong? Where are my hot dogs? That is for you to think about. Must I starve? Well, that's for you to think about. You think you're some bird, huh? <laughs> Just wait till you meet the eagle. The men have been working day and night to bring the well in. Here it comes. Set it down. They're lowering the casement into that hole that has already been drilled. Up with it. Swing her over a little to the right. Hold it. They've reached oil sand and have to be very careful because they're apt to strike a pocket where there is a tremendous pressure. If that happens, there'll be a gusher. And that will blow casing, rig, and everything sky high. That got it. There's enough nitroglycerin in this capsule to blow up a good-sized town. 
boy. Hey, you know, I like to feed about a quart of that nitro to Emmanuel and drop him from a plane. <laughs> it's what you call a go devil. When it hits, look out. Oh. Drop it out, boys. Folks, you better stand clear. All right, she's ready. Let her go. blaze and the pipelines in, we can barrel that oil to Freeport. See, Tommy, we got to blaze that trail. And this time, I'm going with you. All right, then. Get off that now. Let us go into the office and look over the map. I will join you with final orders. Si, senor. Adelante. If this is successful, Senorita Inés is to be my reward. You flew over. I need you. I don't let many hours go by without checking this spot for a signal from you. Hey, where are you at headquarters? In my plane. But where do you get your supplies? That's my secret. All right, keep it. What's wrong? Man, you're sending the land force to surprise Cat Matter with the oil field. I'll take care of that. Officer Double X. It is not Officer Double X. Adelante. Here are the oil fields. We'll run the pipeline through this territory to the edge of the jungle. Then due south to the sea. Uh-oh. I wonder who that is. The eagle. I hope he lands. The only wood. Dropping us a message. Manual attacking you by land. Be on your guard and surprise him. This is our chance to lick him, Mr. Casmetto. We got plenty of guns to do it. Sound the alarm immediately. Give the boys guns and plenty of ammunition. Yes, sir.
plane flew toward them not ten minutes ago. It cannot be held. We start the attack at once. Jose, deploy to the east with your men. And you, deploy to the west with the others. I will handle bombs from the plane. Si, senor. Go ahead. Now listen, you girls, stay here. This is a job for men. Betty can fly just as well as you and Tommy. Of course she can, Inez, but this isn't a flying job. Come on, Skeets. I told you girls to stay under cover. We Look! The eagle! I'll tell you what we'll do, Tommy. We'll get some bombs, we'll go up to the plane and help him.
all right, boys. Get your ass back to the The iron weapon. It is ruined. Come on, fellas, a little speed. Fire will dry them out, Pronto. Get ready, boys. All right, boys. I'll take the wire. All set? Yep. Hurry up. Get going. We've got to work fast. Report to Manuel that I destroyed their new well. But Alvarado's men were too many for us. Si, sí, senor. Jose and Carlos, remain here with me. Muy bien, senor. Adios, senor. Gondor! He is now a hand! Gachos, I'm going to 
levanto detrás del árbol. Cuando él va y se acerca a mí, te lo agarra. ¿Entendido? Perfectamente. ¡Vamos! Sorry to send you down, old man, but a fight's a fight. Strip off his helmet and jacket. Pardon, Senor Remor. Officer Double X, you have destroyed our big oil well. Good. Where is Officer Double X now? What are you doing here? The El Condor, Senor. We'll have to seize that oil field before they repair the damage. But the El Condor and those two flyers, Tommy and Skeeter, they will bomb our cars from the air. We're not going to use cars. We'll send a force of mounted men over the wooded trail. Our horsemen will be invisible from the sky. We will send the cavalry at once. No. They're expecting an immediate attack. We'll wait. Surprise them. The condor! The mystery fire! He's gonna set her down. Boy, I wonder what that guy looks like. Come on! Yes, senor. I thank you for your aid to my men. Whatever I have is yours. Senor Garcia, my friend. Why didn't you tell us? Yes, Garcia, why all the mystery? Why didn't you let your friends know who you were? Because I could be of more help if Manuel did not know I was aiding you. Well, that's okay for Manuel, but in this camp... I suspect Manuel has many spies in here. Well, you see, my daughter, it is as I have always told you. Senor Garcia is a brave man. Perhaps now you will consent to obey me. I will do as you wish, Father. Oh, well, uh, here. Maybe you can tell me why you followed us in that dirigible, huh? Ah, in order that I might be near Senorita Inés. Oh. My dear Senor Cosmeto, you may depend upon me to watch carefully your oil field. I go now to scout over the stronghold of your brother. Gracias, Senor. I will never forget. Goodbye, gentlemen. Adiós, señorita Inés. Adiós, señor. Hasta la vista. in this ship. I'll give him a taste of his own medicine. Go on.
José, trae my ship to headquarters as soon as it is prepared. Sí, señor. Vamos. Manuel's plane shot down and Garcia helping us. You boys shouldn't be interfered with this time. Well, if we are, I guess me and Tommy know what to do with them, huh, Tommy? Sure. Look, it's McGuire. I wonder what he's doing here. Mac, what's the news? Bad news. Manuel's sending a mounted force to take this oil field. Oh, we will be amply protected, senor. El Condor has disclosed his identity to us. El Condor? Sure, the mystery flyer. We learned this morning that El Condor is our good friend Garcia. You're crazy. I don't know Garcia, but take it from me, he's not the eagle. Well, he was just here in the eagle ship. And we talked to him. Oh, you are mad, senor. I'm under oath not to disclose the identity of El Condor, but I'm telling you his name's not Garcia. Now listen to me. So you see, this Garcia must be one of Manuel's spies. And you've got to get him. You bet we will. Skeeter, that pipeline's got to wait. We must go to the Hacienda at once and get men to guard this oil field. And I'm going to Manuel's. And if that Garcia is still there, it's going to be too bad for him. It looks like the plane that they used to bomb the oil wells with. And look, Skeets. Say, that's the helmet of that double X flyer. You remember the one we saw at Manuel's? That double cross guy. Don't move. Boy, we sure walked right into this one. Search them for guns. Get it, Tommy! Listen to me. Who does this plane belong to? Come on, speak up. Don't be bashful. It belongs to the unknown officer, Double X. What does he look like? I don't know, senor. But well, where is he? 
He took away a prisoner. El Condor? Si, senor. And that double-cross guy is Garcia. Right. Come on, you guys. Come on, get up here. Get out of here. Keep moving. <laughs> Hey, Tommy, what are you going to do? I'm going to fly Garcia's ship to Manuel's headquarters. You take Betty's plane back to the Hacienda. Oh, but Tommy... Now, there aren't any buts about it. The oh. Eagle has stood by us too often to let him down now, whoever he is. Guys, Tommy, that's... Go ahead, Skeet. Turn, turn her over. All right. Contact. Contact.
Tommy. Tommy Tompkins. So you finally got me, Garcia. I didn't mean it. I didn't know. Milt Howe. What are you doing here? Oh, gosh, Milt, I'm glad I didn't shoot you down. Gee, Tommy, you didn't have a chance against this ship. Boy, I know it. Why, you were twice as fast as I was. Say, what is it? An invention of mine? It'll revolutionize aerial warfare. Gosh, Milt, that's wonderful. I was tipped off to what you and Skeets were running into, so I followed you down here to Nazil. Well, that's great, but... Say, why didn't you tell Skeeter and me who you were? Well, I wanted to prove my invention a success first. Oh, have you? Almost. And when I'm sure of it, the government will pay me enough to make us all rich. Hello, Mike. What brings you here, McGuire? Any trouble brewing? I thought the Double X and Jose were fighting each other. The Double X won't bother us anymore. What, what? is he dead? Never mind that now. Tommy, you're going with me to my secret hideout and base of supplies. Well, what's on your mind? I've got a plan to drive Manuel and his crooked outfit off this island. You understand? You are to defend the oil field against all comers. I'll send more men up later. Sí, señor. Vamos, vamos, Lisa, vamos. That'll stop your stepbrother from making another attack on the oil well, Senior Casmetal. But Uncle Ned won't help us to find Tommy. He may be prisoner of Manuel. You're darn right. I'm going to look for Tommy. Oh, no, you're not, Skeeter. Sure he is, and I'm going with him. Nonsense, Betty. You can't go. It's a mad plan, Skeeter. You wouldn't know where to find him. Gosh, I can try. He'd do it for me. I'm going. Compañero! Alto! Caballería is ready, senor. Good. You're to proceed at once to the oil fields and attack. Then you're to proceed to the Cosbella Hacienda. Wait, senor Ramon. What's the matter, Manuel? Hold your man. Very well, senor. When the raid is made on my brother's hacienda, we must be there. Why should we be there? That brother of mine has treasure of gold and jewels in his house worth two million pesos. You know that to be true? See, si, it is true, senor. Our men must not loot the hacienda until we get the treasure. You're right, Manuel. We will be there. to the oil field on the wooded road. Seize it and wait there for further instructions. Very well, sir. back here before she wakes up. On track. All right, Skeeter, happy landing. And that is how Double X captured El Condor and his plane. And you say he's bringing him here a prisoner? Si, sí, senor. Tell them to cease 
firing a lot. Muy bien, Double X is dead. Evacuate your quarters at once. Proceed to landing unarmed. I start bombing your headquarters in three hours. El Condor. We must clear out at once. That devil has magic. He will destroy us. Let me handle this. Gator, where are we? Betty Lou. Oh, why did you come? To help you. I want to. But Betty Lou, it's going to be dangerous, but I mean, you might even be killed. I'll take my chances with you and Tommy anytime. Gee, what would I do if anything happened to you? Oh, I. I know how you feel, but it's awful darn foolish. It's funny, Betty Lou did not leave any word. Inez, what have you learned? Did you find Betty? No, but this note was pinned on the door of one of the hangars. Don't worry, I've gone with Skeeter. Signed, Betty. But that is impossible. He would not take her into such danger. She may have stowed away like she did once before. Gee, that was a swell trick, Mill. A great weapon for war, Tommy. Uh, a great weapon for peace, you mean. Say, do you think Manuel will obey your order to clear out? Well, if he doesn't, he will when we blow up his arsenal. Manuel's headquarters. I set her down in that clearing over there. those horses. Oh, now, now, just a minute, old man. You wouldn't put a girl in your calaboose, would you? On the horses, pronto! Jose, report to Raymond right away. I'll take care of the prisoners. Mount them on the horses, then guard the ship. You think we'd better get started? Not yet, Tommy. We've got to give Manuel and his crowd a chance to clear out of town. You in a hurry? No, but... You know, I just happen to think that Skeeter doesn't know where I am. 
He's apt to get started looking for me and getting a jam. Put them in the dungeon. They shall suffer the fate of all spies. I warned you that you had better join my side of this affair. Now you must take the consequences. Oh, now, that's all right for me, old top, but you let Miss Barnes go. No, Skeet. I'll go where you go. Miss Barnes is a prisoner of war. Gomez, confine them in the arsenal. Then send Jose with your men to the oil field. Si, senor. Martin. Why put them in the arsenal? I have my reasons. Oh, gosh, Betty. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Dragged me into it? Don't make me laugh. I dove into it head first with my eyes wide open, and I'm not blaming you. Watch him. that to safeguard ourselves. Cosmeto will not allow El Condor to bomb us, knowing that the prisoners are in the arsenal. But my stepbrother doesn't know they're there. He will know. I am sending him a warning. McGuire, come here. Just what I was going to do, sir. Take this message to Cosmeto or any of his people. Yes, sir. Tell them that we have captured Skeeter and Betty Lou Barnes. Oh, that's fine work, sir. Tell them that the prisoners are confined in the arsenal and will be blown to atoms if they carry out that threat to bombers. Ah, we have that devil El Condor stop now. But can McGuire reach them in time? He'll have to. Go ahead, McGuire, and step on it. Trust me for that, sir. Yes, sir. Do you know what's going on in there? Well, it's dirtier than you think it is. It is that. Keep here. I can't find anything, can you? No, not a thing. This place is as solid as Manuel's dome. Well, time to get going. You think those bozos have quit the town? Those that haven't will quit when we drop a bomb on that arsenal. All right, Tommy, turn her over. Okay. Why did you skip that? Because it's my last hope. If it's solid, I'm going to lie down and die. Hey, wait a minute! Don't do it! Somebody. 
Dirty work, but we got to try to keep those birds from dropping a bomb on their pals. this tunnel. Now if we can only find a way out of no, here. No, don't you worry. We'll find a way out all right. Oh, 
Idea. These are bloody lower in there. I tried to warn you that they were in the arsenal, but my old flipper failed me. Well, how in the world did they ever get in here? Raymore put them there. But well, it looks like the war is over. Well, we'd better wait until excitement dies down. Betty, look at them. Serves them right for being so careless with their firecrackers. <laughs> Let them dig. No, Skeets, we can't do that. They're worried about us. Oh. Skeets, it's the eagle. Let's find out what he looks like. All right, Betty, come on. Hey, boys, look. Betty Lou and Skeeter. Well, what do you know about that? How in the world did you get out of here? Oh, boy, Skeeter, I thought we cracked up that time for sure. No, no. When those fireworks started, we found a way out. Why, Mills! You, the eagle! Oh, Mills! They're waiting to let us in on your secret. Gee, that sure would have spoiled everything. Well, while the reunion's on, I'll scout around and get some news. Oh, boy, tell us what you've been doing, Mills. Oh. Keep on going, Gomez. I have a plan just for you and I. Where are we going now? To the landing place. Step on it. Here's the story. An eight-column head. Manuel's force is routed, Raymore has beat it, and Manuel's dead. But, on the other hand, there's a bunch of cavalry going to attack the oil field. They don't know the war's over. Well, we gotta stop them. Now, you folks, beat it back to Cass Meadows and tell them what's happened. We'll join you there later. All right, Tommy, let's go. Aboard that ship? Yep, they're all here and ready to go. Tell them to meet me here in an hour and be ready for a quick job. And you? Scout Cosmetos Hacienda. To land on who's there. We'll meet you in the South Gate in two hours. Right. All right, Gomez. I'll go to the oil fields in the car and meet you there. Please let me go with Mills, Uncle Ned. There's no danger now. Well, all right, but keep out of trouble. Radiogram, senor. Oh. It's from Paul Smith. Hurry back. Got a big job coming up for you. <laughs> Listen to this. Have you seen anything of Milk Howe? <laughs> You know, Paul will probably scalp me when he finds out what I've been doing. You should worry with your invention turning out the way it has. All right, Milt, it's all set. You take the girls with you. They'll enjoy riding in your plane. Say, Skeets, 
Are the hand grenades loaded into our plane? Yes, sir, boy. We got enough bombs to blaze a trail from here to three points. All right, then. Let's go. A toast to the modern trailblazers of the air. You ready, Skeet? All set. We can start blazing a trail here. Boy, you're pretty good. I say. <laughs> They'll make me baseball pitcher when I get back to Louisville. One there, but Cosmetta and a few servants. It's going to be easy, men. Now, if I knew what happened to Raymore, I'd have my story all. What is the meaning of this intrusion, Senor? Not really an intrusion. I've come to collect. You're the rat responsible for the leaks, eh? Anything for a story, boss. Well, you can sit quietly by and watch me write the last chapter. You and your partner, Curtis, are wealthy men. Between you and Manuel, you've broken me. But I'm determined to get a portion of what I might have made if you hadn't interfered. Now, you've gold and money hidden here. Where is it? Quit stalling if you want to avoid trouble. What do you mean? You better meet these terms, senor. I know this bird. I have no time for explanations. You'll find out. All right, men. Take the cosmetic and the servants and lock them up. Here, take your hands off me. Stop that, will you? Here, wait a minute, Chip. What? Here. Now, look what you've done now. You've broken my pencil. Come on, keep going. Hey, who are you, anyway? I'm Smith to you. Smith? How do you spell it? Come on. Get him tired. We haven't got much time. We've got to get out of here and get aboard. That'll hold him. All right, come on. Back in your place. I just got a radio from McGuire that Raymore's men have raided the hacienda. What happened? Plenty. Right on the hacienda. Come on, girls. Follow us, Mills. Snap out of it. They can't keep a good man down. Father! What's happened, Casmero? Hey, more. And his men were here. They have taken everything. Which way did they go? I heard Raymore say they were going to his boat, and I know where it's anchored, too. Well, they'll outnumber us, so we got to outsmart it. Where can I get a speedboat, Bill? What's a cinch? I got an idea that may or may not work. Milt, you take our Ned's with you in your plane. The rest of us will go in the speedboat. Why take the girls? We've all got to go to give the appearance of a greater number. Certainly. Ship. Where did he come from? That's the eagle. I didn't think he'd pick up our trails so quick. Get that little parachute ready.
They got Milt's message. Circle till the lifeboat pulls out. Listen to this. Place the gold, money, and jewels you stole from Cosmeto in a lifeboat. Send it with one man to motorboat now approaching. No trickery, or your ship will be destroyed. Gotta work fast, man. Lower that lifeboat. Well, Remor, that settles the gold. Don't worry. I've still got a little surprise for them. They won't pull nothing with Milt hanging over with a load of bombs. is he doesn't dare bomb his own friends. boat with the gold in it. He won't bomb that with some big friends in it.
Let's scare him off. When he dives, take a shot at him. I'll be all right. It's only a scratch. Well, we'd better get inside and take care of that one. Inez, where are the others? Tommy and Skeet. Raymore and his men have been prisoners, and they're headed for Mendoza Island. Uh, Mr. Curtis is back from the oil fields. Let us go into the house and consult with him right away. I have the swiftest speedboat in these waters. We can reach Mendoza Island tonight. But Raymore's men outnumber us. I have summoned men from the oil fields. But they will soon be here. Raymore can't get very far without food. It shouldn't be difficult to find him. But there are savages on Mendoza. They'll help keep Raymore busy while we sneak up on them. Well, Betty Lou and the boys. Something might happen to them. be ashore again, even on a spot like this. I thought things were too quiet around here. Hey, Raymore. How about letting us have a gun for protection? Could you let me have one of those two, huh? <laughs> so you could use them on us? I should say not. Larson, keep your eye on the prisoner. Gomez, follow me. Come again, senor. Listen, Gomez. 
Do you know anything about this island? Were you ever on it before? Si, senor. Are the savages friendly? Sometimes friendly, sometimes hostile. I might be able to deal with them. I have a plan. We'll go to the savages. But why? And let them capture us. Then pay them to let us go. You mean you'll turn over to the savages the men that have been fighting for you? That's the idea. Then we'll come back here, you and I, and get away with the gold. Yes. It might be done. All right, gang. Come ahead. How about the stuff in the boat? Nobody knows about it. It'll be safe. All right, move out. Wind up in a mulligan stew for these cannibals. You think it's the nicest thing, Skeeter. Tell them we have many presents for that chief. Lu Galut. Tao. Taya Sama Kampung. What did he say? They will take us to the village. Things are coming our way. You know, there's something funny going on here. Matamena! Kita Sama Kampung! Nikas! Nikas! This is the place, all right. Let's inspect these boats. We might learn something. Look, it is the gold Raymor took from me. Never mind about that. The recovery of Betty and the boys is more important right now. You're right. We should lose no time in locating the cannibal village. It is by the short distance, senor. I will show you. Let's get going.
Saya vot ginto. Lu, da don mana masha na lis kampong. Tao, saya pikir. He will do as I ask. Give me the sign, you and I'll get out of here quick. The chief has already been warned against Raymore. He will remove his own man at once. Fine. When he does, we'll move in fast and get the drop on Raymore's bunch. What's the matter with these savages? They are strange people, do strange things. We better keep our eye on them. Hey, I, I thought you said you could handle these people. I have handled them. That's the reason I brought you to this island. You, who tried to desert my comrade. Why, you did... All right, come on. Curtis, keep these men covered. Good work, Mill. Right from the clouds. Where's Raymore? Well, he was here somewhere. He must have made his getaway. He's the troublemaker. Let's get after him. Come on. Maybe we can help him. No, no, can't do nothing. It is all over now. He's right, Tommy. We couldn't help Raymore now. Just brought over a boatload of oil workers. Where is everybody? What happened? Raymore's just been killed. What a twist. Is that a story or is that a story? We'd better get back to Curtis and the girls. You said it. I have the chief's word that his men won't harm you if you behave yourself. I'll radio some ship to send a boat ashore and pick you up. Why can't we go with you? I'm sorry, there isn't any room for you in Brazil. Gomez, it was partly due to your loyalty to Manuel that we were able to accomplish this capture without a fight. Therefore, you are free to go. I must suffer banishment from Nazil for all time. With Manuel gone, it does not matter. Before Raymore came, we lived in peace. Already, shall we go now? Yes, let us depart from Nazil at once. Another radio from Paul Smith. Return three point at once. Have contract with Paragon Picture Corporation for big adventure flying pictures. Oh, that's great. Well, if you're going to make a picture, you'll need me. And I've got the story right here. Oh, they don't need no authors out there. And is this a laugh? They're still looking for Mill Tal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Mill. 
Wait till, wait till Paul sees that disappearance done of yours. <laughs> Even then he won't believe it. I say, we could use that act in a picture. We could, that's right. You can't make a picture without me. Uh, you've had enough thrills for a while, Betty. Then it's all settled. Father and I will go with you. Fine. Let us start packing tonight so we can get away early in the morning. Ah, boy. Thank you, little girl, and fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> boy.